Okay, so I need to cut my shelf to go in here. So I know my internal dimension is 30 and my shelf is 29 and 7 eighths. I deduct an eighth of an inch off the interior width. Now to get this funky angle here, and it is funky, so that's 20 and a quarter from this edge to there. I'm deduct a 16th because overall I'm smaller by an eighth. So I want equal uh, space on either side. So I deduct a 16th of an inch. So that's going to be from the edge of my shelf to the start of the cut here is going to be 20 and 3 sixteenths. Make sure you mark it right on the edge. Okay, 20 and 3 sixteenths. Now I know my depth is a half inch shallower than the actual cabinet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure here. That is 11 and 7 eighths, give or take. If I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna make it, make it smaller so that this angle here has a little bit of room. But that is, well, it's 12 inches, it looks like, to the point. So we're gonna make it uh, half an inch plus a sixteenth. So we're gonna go 11 and 7 sixteenths from the front edge. Okay, right on the edge again. So that's all I need. I have two points. I'm going to put my track saw, which is why you need to get a track saw, because they're amazing. And I'm not going to use this one. Take my track saw, line it up on the edges of those marks. Okay. Take my saw. And this is a duller blade, so I'm going to score it first. Yeah, the Makita has a scoring feature, which is nice. It only goes a couple mils in, push that in, scores it. And there we go. Let's see if she fits. Like a glove. Perfect. So, I'll take my shelf pins here. Whoop. up all the way around there you go right there easy peasy two measurements basically you can always take two measurements like that if you know these two are parallel with each other and this is square here because if this wasn't square then that means that this could be farther this way or this side could be farther this way and then that screws up you're working with more than one angle so if you have two reference points or even just one reference point because i could measure essentially from this side over check for square if it's square then what i can do is i can measure from here and use the square again to find this point Okay, I can find that depth. I can transfer that depth and that square point over to that, over there. Basically, you're just trying to find some place to start from. Some place flat or some place where you can uh, most um, reliably find a reference that you start from there. Anyway, that's how you do it in this. Hope this helps.